merciful and compassionate Father. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang magiging Diyos ang sinatanan Alam ng puso sa titik mo'y buhay Upang hinihang Tuyang ka ng magiging Sa mandulupin Di ka pasisigil Sa nagatang tutok sa simoy At sa langit mong pangraw Ay hinatang tulad Awit sa pagkaya minamahal Ang isang kapatawad mo'y Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Capital University School Administration, faculty and staff, and especially to our dear students who are now the focus of this afternoon's webinar entitled Psychological Well-Being Amidst COVID-19 Pandemic. So I am Janessa Grace James, and I will be your host for this afternoon. Earlier, we had our first session, and that is um, the focus of it is our Dear faculty members, teachers, and administ school administration, for this afternoon, we will be focusing on you, dear students, because as we all know, you also have having troubles and struggles with this new normal, adjusting with this unprecedented and unfortunate time that we are all experiencing. And so, we, without further ado, as part of the 50th founding anniversary of Capital University, 
let me to formally introduce our source speaker for this afternoon, let me call in our science subject coordinator, Ms. Omiel Kair Sankupan. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Um, our speaker is a registered psychologist. He's also a school counseling associate, a group facilitator, and a resource speaker. He finished his bachelor's degree he finished his bachelor's degree from a bachelor as bachelor of science in psychology from Holy Cross of Davao College Incorporated. He also finished his master's of psychology in clinical psychology from San Pedro College. Uh, for his work experiences, he uh, currently he is an assistant guidance director, a part-time psychology instructor, uh, research as well as a research advisor from the University of Mindanao. He was also a village educator from uh, SOS Children's Village, Davao, and an OT staff from Kaakbay Rehabilitation Center from March 2013 to August 2013. For his volunteer work or involvement, uh, he is he was a volunteer psychologist and a group facilitator from the SOS Children's Village from Davao. It's an international non-government organization. And he's also a volunteer psychologist from uh, Halad to Health. It's an Australia-based non-government organization. He has attended several trainings, including Align Transformation through Neuro Linguistic Programming and Advanced Counseling Experiments, Emotional Exercises, and DreamWorks. Ladies and gentlemen, let me help uh, help me welcome our resource speaker for this afternoon, Mr. Silvino Payo Hosso Jr. Hi. <laughs> Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon for, for the students of Capital University. And I'm very grateful to be part of this workshop today. So let us start. Okay, so our workshop, we will be talking about the um, psychological well-being or mental health of you as student amidst this um, COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, so um, next slide, please. So we will be talking about your whole school year, your the current situation, no, of COVID-19, the self-diagnosis phenomenon. This is very important because I would like to emphasize uh, the detrimental effect of self-diagnosis no, and how should we counter it. Okay, So the importance of resilience or katatagan and ways to improve our mental health in general. All right, let us start. Next slide. Okay. Um, as a disclaimer, uh, I have no personal picture that I have used or image that I have used in this uh, PowerPoint. No, it came from Google for Images and Unsplash.com. So I've put the the owner of the original name. However, for for other pictures, they remain anonymous. Yet I don't own. Um, I don't claim ownership to these images. No? Second is. This presentation is for awareness purposes. Thus, it should not and will not replace counseling and psychotherapy. So if you feel that you need um, counseling and professional assistance, I encourage you to contact your university guidance counselor or university guidance office. Um, some information may be triggering, emotionally and psychologically triggering. So I suggest that you would stop uh, viewing if it is emotionally triggering you already and you just return after perhaps um, two to three minutes. All right. Now, how do you feel about your whole school year? You may um, answer through the uh, comment section below. <laughs> answer through your comment section. How do you feel about your whole school year? Now, it is very important that we are attuned with our emotions, especially you as students, no? Um, there quite, there's quite various emotions that we have felt throughout the 
throughout the school year, no, ever since the COVID-19 began. No? And hopefully, uh, that despite these emotions, they are challenging indeed, no? that despite these emotions, we are still capable of facing them, of befriending them. Mm. Emotions, our emotions are our friends, okay, not our enemies. By being attuned, by being aware of our emotions, we will know what you will, you have to do, or we will know what we should improve. Yes, it is challenging. It is very draining and tiring. It is expected that we are we are drained and being exhausted because um, the whole school year was very full pack. Um, however, I ex I implore and encourage you to to take some rest for a while and um, regain your energy and remembering that all of these things is for your future as well, no? That despite this situation, you will still see a silver lining and you will still um, appreciate these emotions, this, this somehow heavy emotions that you feel. Tama na, embody. No surrender laban Japan. Very good. All right. Next slide. Now let us let us explore some myths or facts about psychological well-being or mental health. First, you may answer through the chat box below or comment section below if you feel that the statement is a myth or a fact. Whether the whether the statement is a myth or a fact. Next slide. Okay. Mental health problems won't affect me. Wag ako. Hmm. Dili ba tama epektuhan sa mental health problems? What do you see? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, next slide, please. Let us see the facts. Now, mental illness, although not equally susceptible, yes, Everyone and anyone can be affected by mental health concerns. Yes, no. So although we have different susceptibility, meaning lahi ita risk factors, no. Considering the our biological makeup, our psychological um, psychological ability, capacity or resources, and even our social aspect, no. Uh, nevertheless, everyone can be susceptible. Like, lahi lang siya level of risk. No? Even mental health um, professionals, we too may be susceptible, can be rather susceptible to mental health concerns. Next slide. Mental illness is caused by a personal weakness. Weak mang good ka ba? Okay. Does it mean na pag maka-experience ng mental health concern, kay weak na ka as a person? What do you think? Myth, okay. No ni Thresh Kalumba. Kalumba di ay. Alright. Gia Binongo, myth. Alright, uh, next slide, please. Okay, the fact is, a men mental illness is not a character flow. Okay, it is caused by complex interplay between, as I've mentioned, biological, social, and psychological factors. Okay, and seeing... Seeking and accepting health in help is a sign of resilience and strength. Yes, dili siya character flow. However, when we experience mental health concern, it is a uh, time already to approach mental health professionals. Okay, remember that just because we approach your you approach your guidance facilitators or counselors or mental health um professional does not necessarily mean na buang na dayon ka or weak ka. No? The, it dili ka na ang point. Okay? Mas okay gani na modul dayon ta sa mga professionals so that uh, they can assist us sa to ang mga concerns and you and you will be guided on what to do. Right? Next slide. I can't do anything for them who are experiencing mental health issues. 100 ba tayo magbuhat para nila? 
what do you think? Okay, myth, according to according to Wesley Somastre. All right. Next slide. Okay, we are each other support system. The more we learn about mental health, the more we know what we can do for ourselves and for others. Yes. Um, that is why nagaka conduct yung dog mental health awareness or psychological well-being campaign. Because we know that one, we can prevent um, we can prevent mental health disorders, and second, that we can intervene and can do something about mental health, about those individuals who have concerns with their mental health um, situation. Okay, so precisely, na judo yung mabuhat kaya ganito naga kanda ko mga inan. And there are available facilities and uh, programs and interventions, no? that we can utilize to make an, the individual productive again and to regain his or her capacity to live life to its uh, fullest. Uh, next slide. It is impossible to prevent illness, mental illness. Tadhana judna nini. What do you think? All right, myth. Yes. Um, next slide. Okay. Fact, there are things that are beyond our control. Yes, nine mga things na beyond our control, such as the increase or decrease, perhaps, of of our of cases, no COVID nineteen cases, mm, politics, uh guerra sa Israel or whatsoever, ang result sa Miss Universe, no? These are things that we cannot control. However, there are also things that we can control, such as our um, personal resiliency, our self-esteem, and even our self-efficacy. Meaning, um, na ay mga ways on how we can cope up better sa mga situations, na ay, which I will, I will um, teach you later, okay? Self-esteem, meaning our overall evaluation of who we are as a person, our belief system of who we are as a person. Ano, your ideal self, ang imuhang paglantaw sa si mong sarili, o kung unsa imuhang kapasidad. No? Supposedly coherent man sila or consistent na sila. And even our self-efficacy, meaning the belief that we can do something about a specific thing. Okay? Um... We can improve that by looking at our personal skills and capacity and potentials and enhancing these potentials. And also not comparing ourselves to others. Okay, kasi kung i-compare na nato atong, uban, atong sarili sa uban, di man nato sila control. Pero ang atong control kay atong kaugalingon man. And the healthier comparison is we must compare ourselves to who we are yesterday or last year. Diba? And unsa itong mga improvement na nakita sa itong kaugalingon, no, about a year ago, three months ago, six months ago. So, yun. And you will see, mas nakakay improvement karon, Or unsa kaya ang na-develop ni mo sa mong kaugalingon, or skills na mo na-develop sa mong kaugalingon throughout COVID-19. No, na mga students, uh, even sa counseling, would tell me that na develop nila nila ang sense of independence in learning na before dili kayo sila hanas mo research karon mas hanas na sila mo research mas kabalo na sila kung asa magnitag resources for them to learn better so kana siya ng mga na mga things pwede na to i-remind atong kaugalingon kasi achievement man na. right next slide please if I seek help, others will think of me as crazy. Buang man di ay ka sa inyo. Or does it mean na pag mag-seek ta og help, kay mm, crazy na dayon ta or buang na dayon ta? What do you think? Mm, okay, next slide. Okay, the fact is mental health concern is not about being crazy. Yes, it is any thought, emotion, or situation that may and will disturb your personal, social, and social well-being. 
and functioning. No, and may affect your day-to-day -day quality of life. Okay, just because nagsika o mental health professional does not make you crazy, dayo. In fact, mas important, mas okay gani ko nakasika o help before tama ka experience o um heavier distress and more serious mental health illnesses such as psychosis or schizophrenia katong maghalusinate na o magdelusion. Okay, pero nevertheless. Mental health concerns or mental health um, issues does not automatically make you crazy. Okay, so if you feel na medyo uh, burn out na ka or you felt na uh, stressful na sa iyong muhang situation and it seems like you're not holding yourself together, I encourage you to seek your guidance facilitator or your guy or the the help of your guidance office. Next slide. Okay, what is the current situation? One is we have limited social activity. Second is virtual classes. Now, because of virtual classes or because of the changes brought about by the pandemic, um, affected ang tananato tananato ways of ways of life. No, one is affected ang ato ang capacity to balance our personal and our um, school activities no before as a student kabalo ko kang kanus aka sa eskwelahan kabalo kabalo ka kabalo ta kung kanus a uh, uh, kinahanglan magperform at school kasi um klaro sa to ang schedule nato sa eskwelahan and kabalot ako kano sa tamuli sa balay and personal time nato pero ngayon hindi na no while you're doing your modules you're also you're also being asked by your parents na himuon ang mga gawain bahay or perhaps nagbantay og balay or even nagwork and so on di ba so medyo enmeshed meaning walay clear na distinction between personal and study time so it's quite challenging and exhausting, di ba? Easy access to disturbing news. Dali na lang kayo tama kita sa mga disturbing news. Kung nabay gera, kung nabay nagkaroon ng completed suicide or, or anything at that because of social media. We cannot um, take away social media kasi nga it's part of our life na in fact, it is easier to update um, academic things through social media as well, diba? through messengers for that matter. Kaya, kaya it's quite difficult not to have social media altogether. No? Limited physical connection with friends and uncertainties um, also creates distress for students. No? Kasi nga we are social animals, but at the same time, we want certainties. No, we want a sense of control. And because of this situation, mas, mas nakita nato na wala tayong control sa everything or anything around us. No, mas ninda ko ang mga, ang discomfort um, for, for everyone. In effect, next slide please. In effect, research will tell us that the social isolation brought about by this current uh, pandemic creates created a detrimental effect sa to a mental health. Meaning, we become more susceptible to experience signs of depression, signs of anxiety, um, demotivation, and um, even stress. No elevated symptoms or signs of stress. Okay. And also, various research will tell us that men, uh, there's a pertinent students have pertinent concerns, mental health concerns amidst this pandemic. This is the very reason why we have to do all of this. We have to conduct um, webinars pertinent to mental health or psychological well-being. Next slide. Hmm. 
net okay so research will also tell us that at some point individuals may experience either anxiety or depression symptoms now i want to clarify there are when we say an clinical anxiety and depression it is a prolonged prolonged sim, um, experience of negative emotion such as worrying no continuous worrying for the past six months for anxiety and at some point we become unproductive and jumpy okay in terms of depression it is continued emotion um feeling of hopelessness or feeling of um sadness or loneliness for continuous two weeks like throughout sa two weeks puro sadness lang jud kasi ang natural emotions is supposedly very dynamic ang emotions nato like pag na ay katawanan makatawa ta joyfully di ba ang pero for both of this Uh, mental health disorders, dili dynamic ang emotions. Okay? Ang allowed lang, ang allowed lang na magkaroon, na maghatag o um, tawag ka niyo, maghatag o diagnosis kay mga psychologists o psychiatrists. Alright? So, it is good that we become aware of the symptoms of anxiety and depression, but I implore that you do not self-diagnose. If you feel that you have these symptoms, um, consult your guidance counselor or guidance facilitator so that they can further facilitate or assist you. Okay? Now, oh, next slide, please. What is not helping me as a student amidst this pandemic? One is, next slide, What is not helping you amidst this pandemic is tendency to self-diagnose. Okay, when we, um, because of social, because of um, technology and the current, the current publications of of many um, health-related uh, pages and websites, it is easier for us now to search uh, to search in informations about mental health. and health in general, okay? So, readily accessible na sa to ang, at, ang information. And at some point, it is quite, it is quite um, tempting for us to self-diagnose. However, when we self-diagnose, we are um, taking away the opportunity to be professionally and appropriately intervened. Okay? Big sabihin, kapag mo self-diagnose ta, wala na to ginalaw atong kaugalingon na matabangan ta o klaro and tarong. And if mahitabo na, then your concerns or our concerns will not be addressed. Okay? So as much as possible, it is good that we have information, but as much as possible, we consult professionals so that mas matagan tao um, clarity about sa ato ang thoughts and atong emotions. Next slide. Spreading news, pictures, and images about completed suicide. Not it creates suicide contagion. Yes. Um. Also, siya last year. I I don't know lang karon pero last year. October hanto December medyo uso siya especially kana medyo maselan na pictures na actually completed suicide um as much as possible dili dapat gina spread kasi it would create a negative effect for the viewers and sa social media baya dili na to ma filter dayon okay so instead of instead of sharing pictures like this, it would be better if we share uh, positive quotes and helpful um, helpful quotes or self-help quotes na mas makaboost 
sa to ang motivation and mas makabuo sa tong emotions. Okay? So I implore you not to share all of this. Next slide. And focusing on the uncontrollable. Yes. Kasi the moment na we focus so much on the things that we cannot control, we are taking away the chance no, sa itong sarili to explore the things that we can control and that we can do. And if we focus so much on the things that we cannot control, um, mas, mas dili ta makaisip o mga solutions sa ito ang mga concerns. Thus, mas malimit na ito itong kaugaling. Next slide. Now, how should we know if the current situation is already affecting us? I would like to share the specific reminders given by Dr. Agnes Padilla. Dr. Agnes Padilla is our former resident psychiatrist and a consultant psychiatrist in Davao. An Institute for for Behavioral Sciences and National Sarili Clinic here in Davao. Next slide. Now, is there fear of getting the virus? If the answer is yes, then it is normal. Okay. It is. If it is no, then you have a high self confidence. By answering no, I assume that it is because of proper compliance to safety protocols. No, by Um, hand washing, putting alcohol, using face mask or face shield, and um, prohibiting self for not going to social gatherings. Okay, so next slide, please. Number two, is there a lack of good sleep over worrying of getting the virus? If the answer is yes, This means that the tension level is high, that you are always tense and could no longer relax. Yes, because um, disturbed sleep will also increase tension sa tuang lawas and even sa tuang emotions. And in fact, sleep is very important for us to um, for us to manage and balance our emotions. Next slide. Third, is there vigilance over having to follow safety protocols? If the answer is yes, it can be normal because we need to be vigilant about avoiding places and situations where we place ourselves at risk to get the virus. However, if there is already hyper alertness, you, know, you, begin, you become jumpy. You become very jumpy. You... At some point, very nag nag create ng mga panic attacks sa imuha. Then it is a sign of hyper vigilance and can be no one of the signs of abnormal anxiety. Can be palang no pero dili pa siya full blown anxiety jo clinical anxiety. Next slide, please. Have you become irritable over small things and angrier than usual? No, when you compare yourself about a year ago, um, mas irritable ka karon. Even if wala kay concerns, no, or even if di di mo kaaway ang nagaistorya sa imuha, you become um, irritable. You get angry all of the sudden. Okay, so. Magunitan lang ka, masoko na dayon ka. Isuryahon lang kasi yung ginitanan, masoko na dayon ka. No? So it can be a sign, it is also a sign, that the situation is overwhelming for you already. That the current situation, um, you're not anymore coping with the situation. Next slide. Does your heart beat fast even if you ha- you are not thinking of things that worry you? If the answer is yes, then it may be a symptom of abnormal anxiety. Yet, you also have to check your medical doctor, especially yung cardiologist. Kasi basin, um, physical health concern siya, dili siya mental health concern. Next slide. Are you, get, are you being forgetful 
because of your constant worry over getting the virus. Meaning, nakadna na lang sa virus and sa mga health protocols in muhang focus or attention. If the answer is yes, then it may be a symptom of abnormal anxiety because your focus and concentration is already affected. And thus, your functioning as a student is already affected too. Next slide. Our number one to six getting worse over time? If the answer is yes, then it can probably be a symptom of abnormal anxiety. And what should we do about it? Next slide. If there's already an increase of the symptoms, then it is time to visit a mental health professional to be, to be evaluated. On your end, in the Capital University, you have the guidance office for you to be assisted with all of these things. Okay. Next slide. So how should we deal with this? Now, how do we deal with all of these things? We have to increase our um, mental hygiene. Next slide, please. Our mental hygiene is, um, is helpful for us also to increase our resilience. Now, our resilience is our capacity to bounce back to any difficult circumstances. And our resilience can be divided into four factors. Next slide. It is coping, grit, emotional intelligence, and sense of purpose. Let us shortly discuss about all of this. Next slide. Um, coping is our ability, our personal resources and ability to address and face difficult circumstances or challenges. May it be through K-pop, may it be through YouTube, um, through physical exercises, studying more, talking with friends, and so on. There are various types of coping strategies. You know? Cognitive reframing. These are resources, personal resources that we do so that we can um, face and address situations better. Mm, grit is also, sorry, Grit is also part of our um, resilience, meaning our capacity to um, overcome adversities or overcome detrimental uh, situation. Emotional intelligence is also part of our resiliency, meaning our capacity to label, you know, to, to clarify and make use of our emotions. As I have mentioned earlier, our emotion is not our enemy, okay? It should We should befriend our emotion. We should be always attuned with our emotions because it should it will tell us what things are we lacking of and what are the things that we need to do. And lastly, our sense of making, our sense making, our sense of purpose. That in each step, we have, we will know our, the meaning of the situation. We will know what it's for. We, we improve our values because of situation. We improve our patience, our persistence, our defiance to the problem, defiance in addressing the problem. You know? And hopefully, with all of this experience, we will have clarity of our purpose of what we want to be in the future. Next slide. Um, and by doing so, we maintain our mental health and thus we lessen our behavioral maladjustment. We also, next, please. We, are, we also um, become emotionally stable or have emotional equilibrium. And we will have better well-being. Okay? So what are um, specific things that we can do to improve our um, resilience? No? What are specific things that we can somehow practice to maintain mental hygiene? 
we can follow the katatagan um, katatagan framework. No? The katatagan framework is proposed by Dr. Regina and her colleagues. This framework of resilience has been used ever since uh, Bagyong Yolanda. Okay, so let's check each one. First is the kalakasan. Next slide. Kalakasan is identifying and cultivating your strength. You can use the vinta, you know, the boat that you can see on your right, by writing your personal strength and resources in each stripe of the vinta. This um, strength and resources is something personal. It is unique to you, okay? In any level and any style. It can be through singing. It, it, it can be dancing, poetry, writing, essay, reading novels, writing novels for that matter, memorizing, solving, and whatsoever at that. Creating TikTok can be one. And create or anything under the sun and the moon, okay? So you revisit your personal resources and strength and um, remember that you're capable of doing so, okay? Sometimes magusta, sobra na to, kabisi sa to ang, sa kabisi sa to ang mga school tasks, malimta na to sa na natin mga skills, natin mga habits, or natin mga talents, no? So every now and, and then, we have to remember na natin mga gifts, ani na mga gifts. Next slide. Katawan, okay? We have to strengthen ourselves by maintaining healthy lifestyle and healthy diet, no? Moving away from uh, fast food kasi ang fast food kay makausap at some point makalid siya sa emotional disability. Now, aside from that, I would also encourage you to download this application, the Let's Meditate application. Um, it has a guided meditation program for you, you know, that you can use to build resiliency, to uh, improve your sleep, and even to address anxiety. You can also do physical exercises or even physical activity, you know, such as um, cleaning your house, uh, doing household chores, and so on. Uh, physical activity helps us to produce and uh, reuptake endorphin. No, endorphin kay isa ni siya neurotransmitter sa tong body, naturally available sa tong body that will help us uh, maintain emotional stability and emotional health. And of course, good uh, sleeping habit. Okay? So ako mas suggesting ani you set a time for your you set a sleeping time and a waking time. No, let us say 6, 9 a.m. or 10 p.m. 9, 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. So let us say 10 p.m. So uh, around 9, 9 p.m. pa lang, no? one hour before 10 p.m. Kay gi baba na ni mo ang brightness sa imuhang phone. Okay, pinaka lowest na brightness. Even sa laptop, kung nagkamit mo laptop. And you dim already your light. Kung na kung, um sa inyong boarding house or sa inyong kwarto, i-dim na nyo yung light kasi all the more na dim ang light, all the more na atong body nag-produce ang melatonin. Ang melatonin kay natural chemical siya sa itong lawas that will help us sleep. Okay, at the same time, we take a bath or kanang half bath lang, no? Para dili igang ang atong paminaw. Kasi all the more na presko atong paminaw na dili uh, na baba ang temperature kumbaga sa outer layer sa itong body then all the more na mas makatulog dayon ta okay so it's not easy at first pero you can the more na i-maintain niyo siya then mas mas easier na siya throughout i also have problems with sleeping pero ito yung ginagawa ko uh, two weeks uh, two weeks na or three weeks na and Luckily, nakatulog na po ko mas taro. Yes, next slide. Kalooban, no? So, I also encourage you to have gratitude journaling. 
no? By writing three things that you're grateful about yourself or about your day, no? Before you take your sleep. Okay? So, uh, 30 minutes bago ito matulog, magkaroon sa tag-journals. Unsa kaya akong pinakaganahan? Unsa kaya itong grateful ko sa akong adlaw? No? One is, kay naka, nahuman na ako module. Second is, more nakahimo ko sa akong mga gawain bahay and so on. Anything that you are grateful of uh, on your day. Okay? And you can also write your to-do list for the following day. Next slide. Declutter, organize, and be consistent. Yes, it is very important na i-declutter. The meaning, um, you put away, no, or you give the things that you don't need or you don't use anymore. No, nang sa ganun is mas maluwag ang ating space, mas maluwag yung bahay natin, your ating room, or atong space in general. And you organize your things. No, the more na organize and declutter ng ato ang at ang surrounding, all the more that we have peace of mind. And when we have peace of mind, then our neurons can focus on more in important things. Okay? And as much as possible, we lessen our social media usage. Um, by setting time lang sa social media, like 30 minutes to 1 hour in the morning or 30 minutes to 1 hour sa afternoon, even sa evening. And you follow um, resources that are helpful, no? Dili lang tong kin masingkinsa lang na mga vlogs or dili lang ingan ka, ka maayo na mga contents. I encourage you to follow TED, TED Ed or even School of Life na mga uh, na naasa social media and even sa YouTube. No, they, these are, these are um, pages uh, that produces, that produce very helpful contents. Mm. And as much as possible, you also lessen uh, viewing negative news. Okay, you control your social media usage. Next slide. Mm. Kalutasan at kaagapay. Meaning, we seek help and we help others as well. Kumustahin natin ang isa't isa. Kumustahin niyo yung mga classmates niyo, yung mga friends niyo. Okay? You support each other. We have each other, especially in this time of crisis. Okay? Kaya as much as possible, we have to be kind, not just to ourselves, but also to other people. And focus on the things that you can control. Last one is... Kinabukasan. Okay? Remember that your struggle right now is will help you become better as a person. Focus on the values that you have gained throughout this struggle, throughout this, this challenge. Not necessarily struggle, but throughout this challenge. Focus on the on the values that you have gained throughout these challenging times. No? The patience, the persistence, the perseverance that you have discovered that you have established and shaped throughout this situation. And hopefully that by, by this experience, you will find meaning, you will find your purpose. No? Why do you study? For what end? How do you wish to see yourself in the future? And how can you use this experience to become better as a person, as a son, and as a worker, as a student? Next slide. Before I end, I will. I would like to ask you, what personal development have you noticed during this COVID-19 situation? What have you discovered uh, with yourself? What have you noticed? Uh, what changes have you noticed? Uh, positive changes have you noticed? Personal development have you noticed throughout this COVID-19 situation? You can answer it uh on your own, or you can answer it uh, to yourself lang, or you can also share your answer through the comment section below. Okay. It is important, as I have mentioned, that we look at our personal development because by doing so, we can appreciate ourselves better. All right? 
So you can answer your, you can put your answers on the comment section or just write it down or just imagine it. Now, before I end and before I read your answers, I would like to share two quotes. From, one from Viktor Frankl, my, my favorite author, and one from me. Okay. From Viktor Frankl, when we are no longer able to change a situation, we are challenged to change ourselves. And thus, we are challenged now to change our attitude amidst this current situation that we cannot control. Next slide. When you wish to move from where you are right now, yet the universe is somehow stopping you, then perhaps you still have something to learn or something to do. And hopefully you can focus on the things that you can learn or that you have to do currently. Okay. Um, I also encourage you to like my, my page, Sale Health Writer. I also share um, good um, positive quotes you know, through that page. Thank you once again for um, listening to my talk, and hopefully you've gained important important things from what I have discussed earlier. I am now ready to your question for your questions, sir. Thank you so much, Sir Sel. So I hope that our students are learning uh, a lot and learning something, realizing something. Because one thing daw na nastruck yun sa ilaha, sir, is katimong giingon na minimize social media. Because as we all know, students in this age, good kay morag lisod yun kayo yung minimize ang social media. True. So students, we are so ready for your questions. If you have questions, please write down the comment, the comment box below so that we can read them. So April said, sir, that she realized daw that I am a, I am a work. She is a work workaholic person, and that she is getting good when it comes to know with time management, though, sir. It's good, no, na how it a time management. But hopefully, you can also include in your time management um, a little time for you to relax, de ba? Because um, exhausting man po tong workaholic ra ka True. Na actually follow up question, sir. It's also from her April. She said that good day, sir. What do you think are the reasons that what do you think are the reasons that could make a person hesitant to consult a psychiatrist? Po? What is your message to those people or what can you advise them? Yeah, actually dug hundred of reasons. As I have mentioned early um this morning, one is stigma. Kasi nga medyo stigmatized pang mental health. Sorry. There is a Philippines, no? And so other countries in general. Uh, despite the despite the mental health law and laws at, and other laws related to mental health, medyo taas siya ng stigma from the society and even from the families, no? Kaya medyo lisod for others to consult with psychiatrists. Kasi nga, di ba na, ingo na earlier na, Usahay, maisip da yun sa uban na buang ta. Even if, uh, personal consultation to even if, dili pa yung anak kalala ito na experience. Buang na da yun ang, ang maisip. And agad, so stigmatized pa. Now, my message is one, because of the um, technology, easier ang access sa psychiatrists and psychologists. Look at, um, look at, your area, no, sa CDO, basi na ay mga psychiatrists or psychologists na nag-cater of online consultation. Daghan po sa dere sa Davao, na po mga online consultations, no? Online consultation can prevent this stigma. Second is, you know yourself better. You know that um, kanina mga stigma, that whatever iingon sa obang tao, will not matter. Ang mag-matter kay mong personal health. Ang mag-matter kay mong capacity to make yourself better. Okay? And perhaps this is high time no, that by consulting a psychiatrist or mental health professional, mas ma-better na ito itong kaugalingon. And the moment na ma-better na ito itong kaugalingon, mas naatay mahimo para sa itong sarili o para sa itong family and para sa ubang tao. And mas ma-achieve ni mong goal. Diba? Yes. Yes. 
So thank you so much, sir. I hope that April you've learned from that. So Anya said that she's become more sensitive and considerate with other people's feelings. So you know, good. Okay, karon na pandemic sir na in close ta mo ragwala tay choice but to become sensitive good. We have a question here po from Edith Plaza. She said that good day po sir. How can I deal with myself po? Kay always ko makamata every 3 a.m. and ma remember na ko ang akong bad past experiences po. Okay, sige. Um, thank you for for asking this at this no. Um, the good reasons for someone to wake up as early as 3 a.m. One is, pwede natulog ang sayo. Like, 6, 6 p.m. pa lang nakatulog na ka or 7 p.m. pa lang nakatulog na ka. And ang atong body clock kay medyo mo mind magut siya kung pila ka oras na itong ginatulog. No? Usually, pag 7 hours na or 6 or 8 hours na itong natulog, naa siya yung sarili niyang mechanism to wake us up. Second is, Pwede mga physiological areas like at kahiun ka or whatsoever. Now, ang importante is kabalo ka nga nung makawake up ka at 3 a.m. Because medyo na yung mga disturbing thoughts na you wish to uncover or you wish to somehow um, deal with. No? It's, not necessarily, it's not necessarily bad, Dayon. I'm not saying that it's bad. It's just that, Basin, this is high time to visit your guidance counselor and discuss these things uh, to them. Okay? They can assist you better if if maging uh, magrotag courage na mudool sa ilaha. Kasi Basin na ito kinahanglan i-uncover, yung kinahanglan ma-realize or insights na kinahanglan makita from these experiences. Alright? Hopefully, na-answer na ko yung mga question, Edith. Yes. Thank you so much, Edith, for that question, sir. We, we have a lot of questions good from our students, which which is a good indication. Yan, amino, good sila, sir. From Gwyneth, sir, good afternoon, sir. Any tips on how to get back on track and how to gain motivation again? Um, again, that's a reason for us to be not motivated. One, um, isa sa pinaka rason is over-exhaustion. No, we gi exhaust kayo na tatong sarili na wala tay tulog-tulog og tarong to the point na affected na tong emotions ay nato ang health no so pwede siya physical ang reason pwede po siya other aspect i'm not quite sure of the things na um make made you feel demotivated okay but you can explore this no perhaps because of sleep perhaps family you wish to to communicate with your family. Perhaps you have to recalibrate your recalibrate your study habits or study skills. Or perhaps there are things that you need to enhance sa imong kawalingon. No? Tanawa ni mo balik yung sarili. Na kay mga na-discover sa imong sarili na wala ni mo na dawat or di pa kaayo ni mo dawat sa karong. Yung ana. Now, it's difficult. It's not easy, rather to be to be back on track but sometimes not getting back on track is also good kasi who you are right now is totally different Gwyneth, from who you were before no kasi basin man good ang gina compare ka yung ang atong baseline kay katong past person nimo what if the i must start must must Hat, message ni siya na tagaan yung mag-chance yung kaugalingon ka ron, na ma-appreciate ang yung development. Na basin na yung mga things na kinahanglan ni mo makita na ah, better, mas better naman di ay ko ka ron. Mas better na akong approach ka ron. Okay? What if, what if dili getting back on track ang question? What if appreciating who you are right now? Don't be too hard on yourself. Correct. Be kind sa iyong sarili. Maging kind yes. ganita sa ubang tao, all the more na maging kind sa itong kaugalingan. Yes. Sir, this is a uh, next question po from Philip Esguera. Good afternoon, sir. What are the ways po to eliminate procrastination? Um, 
<laughs> Waste is your step. Walay, walay, um, walay magic potion or magic formula to eliminate procrastination. The best thing is you really have to decide not to procrastinate. Okay? Um, Na-adjud na sa tua at some point, no? Pwede, na one, we, we procrastinate because we have wasted so much time on things that we are, um, that are not quite important, no? such as ML, social media, and uban pang K-pop, K-drama, kani, kani siya ng mga butang. And at some point, gina, we're try, we're as if, kanang gina, maliit na to ang paggagan sa oras. Na gina, maliit na itong paggagan sa oras. Yan, isa siya sa mga reason. So, might as well, look at your day, no? How do you, how do I spend my day? No? What are the things, what are activities that I can lessen? So that mas magkaroon ko more time sa uban productive things, di ba? As I have mentioned ganina, um, kapaki-pakinabang na gawain. Part of which is to also evaluate our day. Nabasin daghan na kay kong oras sa social media or even sa ML. What if gamito na ako ang ML o social media as a reward sa kong kaugalingon? No? Let us say, I accomplish mo na isa ka module then saka ako magdulag ML, mga 30 minutes or 1 hour. Ang problema, di ba na ma-pause, no? Kapag mag, maka, <laughs> maka, dula ka, tuloy-tuloy na Adaog dapat, diba sin, ma-down ang inyong, o oh, madaog ang kalaban. So, ingana. So, i-check po din mo. Basin, dapat mag-ML lang kapag Sunday, kay para mas na kay more time, ingana. So, you have to evaluate as well. But, Philip, it is a personal choice. Magbalik jud siya sa personal choice ni mo. Ang pangutan na karon kay, unsa man jud imong dream sa kinabuhi. Okay, balikan ni mo to. Why do you want to study? For what goal? No, What is the greater purpose? How do you envision yourself? How do you wish to see yourself? And what is helping you? What is not helping you to achieve this goal? What should help you to achieve this goal? Okay, so part na siya sa mga perhaps pwede na ito ma-explore. Check and remind yourself of your priority good, di ba, sir? So, sir, we so, only have one question left since we already have, I mean, unfortunately, we don't have time anymore. So we only have one question from John Lloyd, John Lloyd Tan. He said, good afternoon po, sir. May I ask how? Can we boost productivity amidst the demotivating situation of COVID pandemic? Yes. Um, one, natural jud na ma-demotivate. Okay? I tell you, it is natural that we are demotivated amidst this pandemic. Uh, ayaw ka, do not be unkind with yourself just because you are demotivated kasi the current situation will really demotivate anyone even your teachers no even your family members kasi nga this is a very stressful situation the, we are living in a very stressful time okay it is natural to be demotivated however however remind yourself always of your goals remind all, always yourself of your dreams and aspirations not just for yourself but also for your family no uh, kasi kanisha na mga kanisha na mga reminder kanisha na mga aspiration maka generate ni siya ug um and maka generate ni siya strength sa tua and maka uplift ni siya sa tua at the same time focus on focus on the things that you have developed throughout this pandemic no the skills that you have gained the friendship that you have established the time that you have with your family treasure these moments no kasi it will help you become motivated remember na kanitong mga time na mas natay oras sa balay so what basin di ay napatay mga wa na discover na mga gagamba sa tong balay no so basin time na ni para i explore to sila tanan okay so it is natural to be demotivated but um, 
I implore or encourage you to see um, positive things that that is happening to you right now. Uh, yes, however, sir. if you feel sorry, however, yes, if you yes. feel that this demotivation is somehow disturbing you already or creating distress, seek your guidance counselor. Seek the assistance of of the guidance office. All right. So ayun, thank you so much for the question. So sa akong na, na nasabdan from you sir, it's really the it all boils down to kanang dapat jud mag-start ang decision from yourself, di ba sir? Like you have yes, to really sir. evaluate your priorities and choose to remind yourself kung unsa gyud imo kuan. So thank you sir in behalf of the students who sent their questions. Thank you so much for answering their questions and thank you for giving us some meaningful and fruitful good na talk this afternoon sir and to give the um, appreciation certificate to you sir let me call in our subject coordinator miss omiel kair sangkupan to give the certificate ma'am omi you're muted good afternoon again i'm so sorry about that so in light uh, with the celebration of the 50th founding anniversary of Capital University, we are awarding the Certificate of Appreciation to Sir Silvino Payo Hosso Jr. for his meritorious participation as a resource speaker on a webinar entitled Psychological Wellbeing Amidst COVID-19 Pandemic during the Senior High School Day celebration held virtually on May 17, 2021, 9 to 2 p.m. Given this 17th day of May 2021, Capital University, Cagayan de Oro City, signed by Dr. Amor Q. De Torres, the Vice President for Academic Affairs of Capital University. Thank you so much, sir, and congratulations, Paul. Thank you so much, Sir Salvino, sure. and you have seen the comments of our Once students again. in the comment box, how appreciative they are, how expert you are. Thank you so much for that, sir. Thank you. And well, the hearts, uh, sa ato ang comment, nagbaha sila because they appreciate Thank you. you. <laughs> but yeah, so unfortunately, we have gamay lang na time, but as you have mentioned, Kagayina, sir, that you, they can follow you sa Facebook po. Same hang page, sir, the ba? If they have concerns. Yes, so Sir Silvino has a page now on Facebook that you can follow. Yes, and if you, yes. So if you have personal issues like what Sir Silvino mentioned earlier earlier to seek guidance counselor so you can message or chat the guidance counselor office of capital university so we are blessed that guidance counselor of capital university is very open to help you with your concerns so do not be shy to go to them because everything will be confidential so if you have personal concerns feel free to go there so everything that you will talk there will be kind of confidential and come along yet right, sir yeah so any uh, any final messages to our audience, Paul? Again, um, thank you for having me here right now. And um, remember to be kind to yourself always and to be kind as well to other people. And as much as possible, um, allow yourself to allow yourself to to discover um, the best things that you have, your potentials. Recognize always your potentials. Okay, thank you and God bless. Thank you so much again, Sir Silvino, for your expertise. And again, do not be so hard on yourself. Recognize your expertise. Recognize your potential and keep moving forward. So for our attendance for this afternoon and for certificates, please click on the link or type in the link bit.ly slash SHS days May 17 for your attendance and certificates. So please click on the link. So again, good afternoon. And thank you so much for being part of our webinar for this afternoon. So feel free to contact the guidance counselor if you have personal concerns regarding your mental health. So we all have to take care of our mental health not just our physical health. So good afternoon and thank you so much, everyone. God bless us all.
Sinem 